Since the dawn of the computer age, organizations have struggled to manage multiple different applications. And apps don't exist in a vacuum. They must work together. Not only that, but they must work together smoothly. Continuity between apps and data they both create and process is essential. This can be tricky. A newly acquired company, for instance, might also need to use both its pre-acquisition legacy apps and those of their new parent company. Different teams and departments in a single company might use different types of apps. And sometimes apps don't work alike or don't share data in the same native formats. That can lead to a lot of manual manipulation in order to share data between applications. Talk about inefficient and error prone. An integration platform overcomes these challenges by providing organizations with a mechanism that lets different apps communicate, interoperate, and exchange data. An integration platform includes the software connectors, the process rules, and the data transformation mechanics that can automate a seamless exchange of data, letting varied applications exchange data and run together, streamlining the day-to-day -day operation of the enterprise. For example, a business might need to share employee data between HR, payroll, and IT systems. And this may require some amount of data integration to accomplish. An iPass can help a business achieve that integration faster and easier than attempting to build connectors in-house. When an integration platform delivers these services through the cloud, it's called an Integration Platform as a Service, or iPass. And that's what we'll be focusing on in the rest of this video. For a deeper dive, explore our complete collection on all things iPass by clicking the link above or in the description below. An iPass can connect any combination of on-premises and cloud-based processes, applications, and data within an organization, or even across many organizations. The iPaaS provider hosts application servers and infrastructure data. It also provisions the integration tooling and middleware that help developers build, test, deploy, and manage software that lives in the cloud. Most iPaaS offerings speed up the development of integration workflows across a business by using pre-built connectors and business rules that define interactions in multi-tenant environments. The iPaaS vendor handles management and governance of the varied services, while the business pursues and requests support for custom application features and software functionality. It might help to think of an iPaaS provider as a contractor who is hired to manage and assist with a kitchen renovation. While the homeowner picks out the specific appliances, flooring, lighting, or any other custom design choices they want and can afford, the contractor takes charge of underlying requirements, such as acquiring materials or coordinating with specialists, such as electricians and carpenters. A business should select an iPaaS provider based on the organization's applications and integration goals today and into the future. Once a provider is selected and the business completes its subscription process, the business user can then choose from the provider's available tools and services to determine the best combination to achieve their desired integrations. For example, a user might describe the need for application A to send data to application B. In this scenario, the iPaaS provider would ideally handle all the integration mechanics needed to achieve that goal and support any related tasks like data governance, patching, updating the integration tools, and maintaining hardware used by the iPaaS provider itself. There are some compelling reasons to use iPaaS. Some common benefits include faster and better data accessibility. When it's working well, iPaaS provides real-time integration with minimal disruptions for apps, even those apps that use data differently. Flexibility and self-service. iPaaS can simplify an organization's overall tech infrastructure by creating a virtual platform connecting apps and resources, creating a consistent structure even when it's integrating resources across multiple clouds and between cloud and legacy applications. Better data security. Using an iPaaS vendor can mean built-in monitoring, threat detection, and observability tools. There's also less human error in data handling and manipulation tasks. Observability. 
The monitoring information that iPaaS vendors deliver can help IT and business teams identify and resolve problems with data integrations and workflows. Integration. iPaaS can also help IT teams navigate the expanding integration requirements of a business without draining significant resources and adding to management overhead. It does this through powerful integrations and data connectors that an iPaaS offers right out of the box. Both of these points make data integration with third-party iPaaS platforms faster and easier than creating those integrations in-house. One last big advantage, cost savings. iPaaS streamlines data integration for a regular monthly fee, easing much of the cost as well as the troubleshooting hassle that comes with in-house data integration work. Despite these many benefits, there are challenges to using iPaaS. Some of the most notable are suitability, that one size does not fit all. Every iPaaS is built to address different business environments and needs. Many iPaaS offerings work better in certain circumstances and use cases than others, and that can make it difficult for organizations to choose the right vendor. Complexity iPaaS is designed to help ease the technical and time demands of complex enterprise data integrations, but there's only so much iPaaS can simplify. A business with complexity high enough to justify an iPaaS commitment must still invest considerable time and in-house talent to set up and maintain the iPaaS connections and workflows, both up front and into the future as integration needs evolve. Security concerns iPaaS offerings can help manage security, but your organization is still ultimately responsible and liable for any breaches or data loss that occur. This can be particularly problematic when a company is integrating varied third-party systems, including cloud and SaaS workloads. Limited scalability. Many iPaaS systems require some level of user intervention to scale the platform. So when you're looking at iPaaS services, be sure to consider limitations like the maximum allowable size and rate of transactions. There might be conditions that an iPaaS simply cannot handle. This is a discussion that every iPaaS user should have with a prospective provider. In-house staff. Ironically, when it comes to iPaaS, having expert in-house staff is essential. An iPaaS provider might assume responsibility for a large amount of management concerns, but an enterprise must still have dedicated staff to supervise the platform's operation and regularly evaluate its impact on business processes and outcomes. And finally, service disruption. Of course, there's a risk any time a business is relying on a third-party service provider. Basic disruptions, such as network failures, can result in integration performance problems and business disruption. Plus, the increasing rates of iPaaS vendor consolidation might mean some vendors and services wind up discontinued, which might force your business to switch service offerings or providers. Your first step is to understand what your organization needs before determining if iPaaS is the answer. Once needs are clearly defined, you'll be better positioned to choose and use an iPaaS. The future for iPaaS seems bright. Enterprises continue to embrace distributed microservices-based applications, cloud services, and diverse data sources. They must be able to stitch them all together. How might iPaaS evolve? You should expect iPaaS products to come with AI, machine learning, and natural language processing capabilities because business realities are going to demand those kinds of capabilities given the number of apps and expanding volumes of data, multi-cloud hosting, and serverless deployments. Expect to see deeper ties between applications and overall business goals, such as unifying workflows and governing customer data. And this will further influence iPaaS providers' market strategies. Ultimately, the sheer number of enterprise applications, the spiraling volume and uses of enterprise data, and the variety of deployment targets that an enterprise uses will all conspire to make integration an essential business function. Look for easier and more intuitive operation in the near future. Things like one-click integrations, visual interfaces with drag-and-drop process linking, and low-code functionality. 
Meanwhile, the iPaaS marketplace is crowded and diverse. You should expect vendors to consolidate even more as their portfolios change. Ultimately, the iPaaS market is changing. The tools are improving and capabilities are expanding. But users need to select iPaaS platforms carefully and see to it that those tools are used to bring their best benefits to the enterprise. Thank you.